Members of the VMI Board of Visitors, trustees of the VMI Foundation, faculty and staff, ladies and gentlemen of the Corps of Cadets, friends and supporters of the Virginia Military Institute. Welcome back to VMI and welcome to this morning's convocation, marking the opening of VMI's 2020 academic year. We're pleased to be with all of you today, some in person on post and some virtually across our nation. On 23 March, we acknowledged the world was facing a widespread pandemic and we had to make adjustments. Sadly, we closed the Institute and postponed our traditional annual award ceremony scheduled for 14 May. But today we gather to reflect on the great achievements many of you made in the last academic year. In May, during what would have been finals week, we celebrated the class of 2020 success with a virtual presentation of awards to the graduating first classmen. It now gives me great pleasure to finish the awards assembly at the end of our convocation today. Today's academic convocation commences a new year, VMI's 181st year. A convocation is a day to celebrate with eager anticipation a fresh academic start. And certainly we are excited to have the entire Corps of Cadets join us, especially the new cadets who will become the class of 2024 early next year and the largest class to matriculate in VMI's history. And we welcome the newly arrived staff and faculty to the VMI family. This past academic year presented many challenges to all of us and particularly to our faculty. In addition to their normal duties, the faculty pivoted quickly to remote teaching in March and spent countless hours this summer preparing for the new academic year with vigor and creativity. They taught online during summer school, attended teaching workshops, conducted research, mentored cadets, presented in their areas of expertise at, a con at conferences, published in journals, and actively engaged in service activities, particularly in our local community. We appreciate their dedication to our cadets and to the mission of VMI. This morning, we acknowledge and celebrate the central mission of the Institute to prepare all of our graduates for the mantle of leadership to defend our nation, lead the best institutions of business, medicine, law, politics, and history, education, and many others, and affect appropriate change in our communities, ready to serve as citizen soldiers in time of national peril, and provide principled leadership to our families. I have said it before, and it continues to remain, remain true. While the means by which we seek to accomplish this mission have changed over the course of the Institute's history, VMI's mission remains the same. The central mission is our guiding post, but we recognize that we do make adjustments with time. On the surface, VMI strikes some people as a place that is traditional and unchanging. Gothic buildings, cadets in uniforms, parades, and a daily routine that appears, well, routine. But below the surface, as we all know, that image of the Institute is misleading. Large and small alterations take place every year at VMI as it strives to meet the changing educational needs of our cadets and the varied needs of an evolving society. On 29 July, I wrote the VMI Community A Way Forward letter, affirming our principles and reinforcing that we want to erase any hint of racism at VMI in our communities and in our country. I spent months listening to the concerns of alumni, cadets, faculty, and many others not related to VMI from across the country. I listened closely to your thoughts on how we should move forward. And while I will continue to listen intently today, it is time to implement an action plan. Each of us in the VMI community is part of this team and has an important role to play. We're striving to make VMI a better place, not only today, but also for generations to come. The overarching goal of this plan is fourfold. First, to retain the foundation of values and principles set on the Institute's early years, while shifting the emphasis and celebrations to the second century of VMI's remarkable history. Second, to enhance recruiting, especially among marginalized youth and meet the needs for a diverse faculty and staff. 
Third, to provide greater academic and leadership education for our cadets and thus contribute to a civil and respectful environment. And fourth, to provide greater access to alumni network for all of our graduates. This proposed plan includes a series of five pillars to guide our community. These pillars operationalize in parallel and in time to build a better future with actions executed prior to one's cadetship, doing a cadet's cadetship, and continuing upon graduation. The pillars, each with discrete actions, concentrate on education, the VMI core systems, which are the centerpiece of our unique education, with accountability, a key requirement, promoting commissioning in the armed services, addressing symbology, and alumni assistance. The plan is comprehensive in nature and will take us positively to the future. We'll build upon our storied past and do our part to continue to build a strong institute. The world is a complicated and challenging place and rarely can we compartmentalize our energies. All of us know our state, nation, and world are facing another pressing issue, the challenge of living through a pandemic. And I'm pleased that we were able to safely make it back to post and open for this semester. Even if some of the policies, the schedules, and safe protocols make life considerably different for all of us. I reiterate to everyone, faculty, staff, and Corps of Cadets, that we are all in this together, and many are facing this situation for the first time in our lives. For you see, the pandemic has impacted every aspect of cadet life, requiring wisdom, innovation, adjustment, flexibility, and maturity in our thoughts and actions. VMI will continue to follow the very best practice, practices from experts in public health while doing our very best to maintain a robust military, academic, and athletic environment. We must remain civil in our interactions with each other, demonstrate grace and patience, and be considerate of others in everything that we do. For the Corps of Cadets and our staff, faculty, and classified team, this is truly a time to demonstrate the very best of caring leadership. Follow basic health and safety guidelines that will be inconvenient, but will help protect all of us, particularly the most vulnerable in our community. Wear our mask, social distance whenever possible, avoid large public gatherings, and adhere to the very best of hygiene practices. I know this will infringe on some of our plans and traditional activities, but we must be considerate of others. Working together with our faculty, staff, and coaches who are striving to keep a clean and safe environment, I know we will be successful. We must have everyone's help now and participation to overcome this serious obstacle and to keep our institute safely open this year. Wouldn't that be a proud legacy for this Corps and for each of you? It will not be easy. Civility and consideration of others are two simple thematics which we all should adhere. Academics will continue this year, even though you may be in classes that are remote, hybrid, in-person, and or combination of these. We recognize that everyone, instructors and cadets, desire personal interaction in the classroom as much as possible. However, there's likely to be an ebb and flow as we transition some classes between online and in in-person settings depending on the health conditions, and as we mitigate risk. Some of you may also experience isolation or quarantine, but we have a plan in place that will allow you to continue your education virtually. Keep your cool in these challenging times and control the rumor mill that further harms the situation. We have ter terrific counselors to assist with problems associated with anxiety, and depression and other concerns related to this pandemic. And similarly, our staff, physical plant, auxiliary support services, medical, and others on the Institute team have planned, prepared, and worked diligently during the Corps' absence, and I'm confident we are ready to weather this storm. Likewise, we know that there will be significant challenges associated with military training and athletics. You have heard this recent announcement 
we have had to postpone or adjust many of our fall scheduled NCAA athletics. This will be a heavy, heavy burden, but as we conduct an active 18 sports team program in reduced time going forward, the rat line has also had to make adjustments for safety, much like we did for matriculation week this year, meeting their cadre, training, sleeping, and dining arrangements in constrained areas. Our ROTC programs must now double up to capture the training lost during the second semester of last academic year and prepare many for commissioning in summer 2021. I know all of you will exhibit great maturity as we traverse this journey and landscape to together. VMI has faced many challenges throughout its long history since 1839. We are no stranger to adversity, and we embrace these conflicts with steadfast resolve. And I know that we'll be very successful and will add another chapter to the Institute's glorious history. As we move forward in this academic year, it is important that we recognize many of your splendid accomplishments that we could not recognize last May with the cancellation for your classes of the Institute Awards ceremony. We recognize your hard work, your commitment to excellence throughout your cadetship, and particularly the previous academic year. The Institute's very proud of what you have accomplished, and I extend my personal congratulations and those of the Institute to each of you. I also thank the VMI Foundation for their generous support of so many programs at VMI, including the awards ceremony today. The Foundation is an integral part of the VMI community and helps us mobilize many of our programs and provide resources we otherwise would not have. I now turn over the con conduct of our award ceremony to the Deputy Superintendent for Academics and Dean of our faculty, General Moreshi. General Moreshi. Thank you, General P. As your name is called, please come forward, enter the stage on my left, and return to your seat using the stairs on my right. The 100th Infantry Division Lieutenant General Withers A. Burris Scholarship Fund Awards are presented to rising first and second class cadets on the basis of scholarship, leadership and military proficiency in honor of the men of the 100th Infantry, Infantry Division and their commander, Lieutenant General Withers A. Burris, VMI Class of 1914. There are two awards for rising first class cadets. The first award goes to Cadet Nathaniel James Bowers, a biology major from Dayton, Virginia. The second recipient is Cadet Dylan Gray Stolzfus, a mechanical engineering major from Kernsville, North Carolina. There are also two recipients in the rising second class. The first award is presented to Cadet Brian John Anderson, an international studies major from Wilbraham, Massachusetts. The second award goes to Cadet Michael Mario Hoffman, a double major in history and international studies from Yorktown, Virginia.
The Major General Stephen Sewell Jr. 60 Award is a scholarship given to a third or fourth year ROTC recipient in high standing with both VMI and the Army ROTC Department. This year's recipient is Cadet Jose Israel Nunez Jr., an international studies major from Roanoke, Virginia. The Francis H. Smith Award is presented to a cadet of the rising first class who has exhibited outstanding academic achievement, extracurricular participation, leadership ability, and demonstrated potential for a professional career. This year's recipient is Vincenzo J. Ferrari, a physics major from Harvey's Lake, Pennsylvania. Cadet Ferrari will remain on the stage for the next award. The Chesty Puller Award, 1st Marine Division, is given to the commissioning 1st and 2nd Class Marine Option Cadets who exhibit the highest qualities of leadership. The 1st Class recipient is Cadet Ferrari. The second class recipient is Cadet Robert Kerma, a history major from Summers, New York. The Allen Dandelot Balin Memorial Prize is given to a member of the fourth class who has earned the respect of his or her brother rats and the Corps of Cadets by performance within the RAT system. This award goes to Cadet Cameron Michael Cavanaugh, a Modern Languages and Cultures major from Sinking Springs, Pennsylvania. The John Ridd Bush Award is presented to a member of the fourth class deemed most worthy because of valiant character and military proficiency. This year's award goes to Cadet Samuel Harrison Wolf, a biology major from Charlotte, North Carolina. The Faculty Scholarships for Merit recognize outstanding academic performance by rising first class and second class cadets. These awards are funded solely through contributions by retired and current members of the VMI faculty. The first recipient is Cadet Hunter Haas Barnes, a history major from Highland, Michigan. Cadet Barnes is a conscientious, enthusiastic student of history. He stands in the top ranks among history majors in the class of 2021 he is currently engaged in the early stages of a demanding departmental honors project. The second recipient is Cadet Daniel Edward Carlson, a mechanical engineering major from Bolivia, North Carolina. Cadet Carlson is ranked first in the mechanical engineering class of 2021 as a second classman, having earned that designation also in his fourth and third class year. He has excelled academically while serving as a regimental S3 sergeant and actively participating in the triathlon club. The final recipient is Cadet Troy Devin Smith, a computer science major from Waxhaw, North Carolina. Cadet Smith has an exemplary record of academic accomplishments, an Institute Honors Cadet distinguished for his creativity, motivation, dedication, hard work, ethics, and leadership. He will represent VMI as a nominee for the Rhodes Scholarship in 2021. And Cadet Smith will remain on stage for the next award.
The Charles A. Dayhoff, Jr. 31 First Captain Award is given each year to the rising first captain in the Corps of Cadets. The 2020 recipient is Cadet Smith. The Jeff Shara Scholar in Residence Award for the best research topic proposal working with the interpretive staff at the Newmarket Battlefield State Historical Park is presented to Cadet Alan Dennis Renesson, a physics major from Woodstock, Virginia. The United Daughters of the Confederacy Sir Moses Ezekiel Award is given to a cadet who has contributed to the cultural life of the Institute. This year's recipient is Cadet Lauren Victoria Wolf, a double major in Modern Languages and Cultures and International Studies from Stanley, Virginia. Now the awards for faculty and staff. The Nathaniel W. Pendleton 22 Distinguished Coaching Award for 2020 is presented to head football coach Scott A. Wackenheim. In 2019, Coach Wackenheim guided VMI football to its most overall wins since 20, 2003 and most conference wins in 40 years. The Kedets also reclaimed the Silver Shaco Trophy from the Citadel for the first time in 13 meetings. The 2019 squad established new school single season marks for total offense and passing yards. Wackenheim was voted 2019 Southern Conference Coach of the Year and was a finalist for FCS National Coach of the Year. The VMI Distinguished Service Awards are presented each year to VMI employees for exemplary service to the Institute and performance of duties. The first Distinguished Service Award is, pre is presented to Mr. Charles Marco Floyd. Mr. Floyd is an extraordinary VMI employee who is dedicated to supporting the Institute's needs from working miracles within the engineering division to generously assisting the VMI band, Preston Library, and the physical plant. Through the, his enthusiastic and motivating involvement with faculty, staff, and cadets across post, Mr. Floyd has continually demonstrated excellence in service to the Institute that goes far beyond his duties. And we present that in abstentia. The second Distinguished Service Award is presented to Ms. Leanne Forkwer. As the Dean's Office Administrative Coordinator, Ms. Forkwer has distinguished herself through the consistently excellent execution of her duties. She is a problem solver whose initiative and standard of excellence have vastly improved operations, large and small, within the academic program. As cadets, faculty, and staff alike acknowledge, she is the consummate professional, willing to extend a helping hand to anyone in any area for the good of the Institute. The final recipient of the Distinguished Service Award is Ms. Lauren S. Hanger. Serving in a number of roles since joining the IT department in 1998, Ms. Hanger now holds the position of desktop support manager. She made important contributions to numerous institute committees, accepting any task with enthusiasm and readiness to serve. Her remarkable ability to multitask and her consistent professional manner makes her a valuable member of the information technology department and an asset to the institute. The D. Ray Carpenter Award is given annually for the best research proposal submitted to the VMI Research Committee. This year's recipient is Major Jason W. Schroepfer, Professor of Modern Languages and Cultures, for his project titled, A Grammar of Arabic.
The Jackson Hope Prize for Excellence in Academic Advancement recognizes a member of the faculty or academic program staff whose efforts bring renown to the institute and its programs. The 2020 prize is presented to Colonel James T. Geary. Colonel Geary transformed VMI's Department of Psychology from a primarily Bachelor of Arts program to a STEM-based discipline conferring the Bachelor of Science degree. He oversaw a significant revision of the psychology curriculum, adding numerous courses, hiring new faculty, and expanding laboratory resources. Colonel Geary's focus on developing excellent classroom instructors has earned his department numerous teaching awards. Under his leadership, psychology cadets receive a rigorous education with a strong focus on undergraduate research. The Jackson Hope Prizes for Excellence in Published Scholarly Work recognizes two members of the, v of the faculty each year. For one, the outstanding publication in science and engineering, and two, the outstanding publication in humanities and social sciences. This year's prize in humanities and social sciences is presented to Colonel McMillan Houston Johnson V, Professor of History. In Taking Flight, the Foundations of American Commercial Aviation, 1918 to 1938, Colonel Johnson chronicles the interplay of technological innovation, federal policy, and public interest at the birth of the American air industry. While producing a fine scholarly work, Colonel Johnson has found multiple ways to incorporate the subject matter into his classes and directed studies projects. It is an excellent example of how faculty scholarly expertise supports our primary concern with teaching and mentoring undergraduate cadets. In the science and engineering category, the prize goes to Colonel Dimpal Kumar Chalashajar, Professor of Applied Mathematics. Colonel Chal Chalashajar's paper, Some Qualitative Behavior of Solutions of General Class of Difference Equations, appeared in Mathematics, a top peer-reviewed math journal. His Google Scholar citations listing puts him in the top 10% of control theorists in the world. While his work is abstract, the theory has wide applications to fields as electrical networks, economics, and genetics. Colonel Chela Hajar's work will work with Cadet Emily Gothard, class of 21, on a related Institute Honors Project next year. The VMI Distinguished Teaching Award recognizes a member of the faculty for outstanding teaching and academic mentorship. This year's recipient is Colonel Bradley L. Coleman, 95, Professor of History. Colonel Coleman's list of accomplishments humbles the reader, especially considering that everything he does has the cadet uppermost in his mind. In class and in a multitude of directed studies, he remains perpetually positive, patient, encouraging, and available. As director of the Adams Center, he designs every event with a cadet dimension in mind and takes cadet assistance under his wing as mentor. His respect for all cadets and support for their education knows no bounds. The Thomas Jefferson Teaching Award is given each year to an outstanding junior faculty member who quote, is deemed especially talented at inspiring students in the development of their intellect and character, close quote. This year's award is presented in absentia to Major Jochen S. Arndt, Assistant Professor of History. Major Arndt is exceptionally accomplished in each of, of our four domains. Beloved by his students, he demonstrates passion and creativity in the classroom that impresses even veteran faculty members. While playing an increasingly prominent role in departmental and institute affairs, he is also developing an international scholarly reputation in African history. His outstanding cadet mentorship includes directed studies in topics close to his scholarly interests and leadership of the annual Olmsted Study Abroad Program. The Henry King Bergwin Jr. Boy Colonel of the Confederacy, Chair in Military History, is awarded in absentia to Colonel Timothy C. Dowling, a professor of history. Described by his department head as, quote, a uniquely conscientious teacher, close quote, 
Colonel Dowling has made important contributions to the Department of History's curriculum, particularly the core curriculum World History Sequence. As a scholar, Colonel Dowling has contributed most especially to the history of World War I, but with many contributions across a broad spectrum of military topics. He currently serves as associate editor of the esteemed Journal of Military History. The Jackson Hope Distinguished Chair in Natural Sciences is awarded to Lieutenant Colonel John A. David, Associate Professor of Applied Mathematics. In addition to his excellent classroom teaching and scholarship, Lieutenant Colonel David has mentored cadets in more than 55 undergraduate research and internship projects since joining the VMI faculty in 2011. Many of those were supported by the acclaimed Summer Applied and Industrial Mathematics program, which he founded in 2012. Lieutenant Colonel David was the recipient of the State Council for Higher Education in Virginia's Rising Star Award for junior faculty in 2015. The John C. Allen 1962 Distinguished Professorship in Chemistry is awarded to Colonel Stanton Q. Smith, Professor of Chemistry. Colonel Smith has been at the Virginia Military Institute since 1999, having risen through the ranks from assistant professor to full professor and head of the chemistry department. He is known as a rigorous teacher and leader in curriculum development, with a particular interest in general education science. His modest demeanor has made him a popular mentor in undergraduate research projects. He currently serves as chair of the Curriculum and Instruction Committee of the Academic Board. The Colonel Beverly M. Reed 1941 Institute Professorship in Arts and Sciences is awarded in absentia to Colonel Scott T. Frein, Professor of Psychology. Since joining the faculty in 2007, Colonel Frein has been a leading player in the academic renaissance of the psychology department, playing an important role in redesigning the department's program from a BA, BS to a Bachelor of Science only program. He is a recipient of the VMI Distinguished Teaching Award and served as advisor to the class of 2014. Since 2019, he has served as director of VMI's Center for Undergraduate Research. The General Edwin Cox 20 Institute Professorship in History and Economics is awarded to Colonel Jeffrey S. Smith, Professor of Economics and Business. Colonel Smith has been engaged broadly across the Institute since joining the Department of Economics and Business. A versatile and excellent teacher, he has pursued a robust research agenda, publishing six peer-reviewed articles, two book chapters, and a business finance textbook during the eight years he has been on the VMI faculty. He has served with, with distinction on numerous Institute committees, including as chair of the Faculty Development Committee. He was advisor to the class of 2019. General P, ladies and gentlemen, the Institute's award winners for 2020. Another round of applause, please. Well, I know you join me in taking great pride in these examples of an abiding dedication to excellence represented here today and these award winners. They certainly inspire us all by their performance. As we conclude, we take time to recognize our new faculty and staff members. Unfortunately, we're not able to be together at this time. The list of new faculty and staff members that follows represents those who have joined the Institute since last academic year. We're excited for them to be here. We look forward to the many significant contributions that these new faculty and staff will contribute to the, to the Institute moving forward and excited for a time in the not too distant future where we can all be together in person. Again, the Institute congratulates each of you. These proceedings are adjourned. Thank you.